What is up today? I am showing you guys how to make a bare bones executor for Roblox. Pretty, I'd like to say simple stuff here, but I guess we can just hop right into it. So the basics of how a screen GUI works are first, in start GUI, you need to have a screen GUI. This will be like the, I, I don't know, I guess you could call it the, like the backbone of the entire thing. Like you need this. And inside of that, you had a frame. This frame will be the background. Think of it like that. And we can make this whatever size we want. And something you need to remember is to click this little active down here. It needs to be active. If you're wanting to, to be able to test it in here. Otherwise, you don't have to because we'll be writing that in the script. But I just recommend doing it. Just personally. But now what we need to add is something inside of here we can actually interact with so let's just do you know you can do text label text button text box any of these things really it's there's a lot of stuff you can add but i'll add a text button so we can actually interact with it and we will make this a little bit bigger and we will make this stand out from everything else let's do 50 uh change you guys will see why i'm naming it change in a minute and let's just make the background color uh, red, so it stands out a little bit. Now, what we need to do is, well, we need to do the, the code part now, which is a plugin called GUI to Lua. Technically, you can write all of the code for this GUI out by yourself. It'll take <laughs> it'll take a little bit, but this. This plugin does it for you. I'll have it linked in the description. And what it does is when you click convert, it does everything you need for you. It completely fills this out. I mean, pretty nice. So, what you need to do here is you can delete this. You don't need that because we're writing an exploit. Get rid of all this. You can get rid of all this. If it has two lines like that, that means it's a comment. So you can just get rid of it. You don't need that. It'll just save space in the script. I can leave some gaps there, actually. Now, as you can see, we have our frame, our text button, but where'd the screen GUI go? We need to write some code for that. So what we need is screen GUI equals game dot core GUI. Pretty simple. Oh, my bad, actually, boys, my bad. It's screengui.parent. Sorry about that, dot parent. Now, what we need to add is now we need to add some things to the frame that allow it to be active. So, three lines here, and we are going to need frame.visible. Frame.visible equals true. Now, frame.active equals true. And finally, frame dot draggable equals true now whatever these are whenever you name them say i had this frame named like hello it would set up here local hello equals instant dot new frame and down here all this would need to say hello and you know you get that right that would be for any part it needs to be the same name so that you're referencing the same thing now that is all set up so you might be wondering, like, okay, how do we make it to where this text button here actually, actually does something? So what we need to do is we need to write a function that will, when the mouse button is clicked, it'll run this. So we need to do text button dot mouse, mouse button one down, and then colon connect parentheses function now I need to delete this final parenthesis and add a full one so it looks like that and once this is done if you click enter you know you did it right because it'll indent and there'll be an end now this is where you can decide what you want it to do so say say that I want to change the background color of this text button I could change this to, well, I could copy this code, because this is the code for the background colors you can see here. 
I can paste this in here and I can change these numbers, which will change the color. All right, so let's say I want to get, eh, let's just say blue. So instead of this, we're gonna wanna do zero here. Not at, oh, we want a zero. And then down here, we're gonna want 55. There we go, we got blue. So this is basically, if you wanna add more stuff, say you want it to run a script. I'm gonna copy this code in here. I can have it in the description. But what you want to do for that is it needs to be a specific line to where you might see this in, our, in the script itself. But let's put this on here so you guys can see it. I won't actually leave it in. Something like this. So you want it to run infinite yield. You just need to do something like this, but in here. Anything that you want it to do, you need it to do inside of here. And for each button, it'll be the same thing over and over and over again. And that's why this GUI to Lou is very helpful. But say you're making something like this. I'll just drag it over so you guys can see it. To where it is a very long script. All of this stuff is a lifesaver. Trust me. So, I will hop us into a Roblox game so you guys can see what this looks like. Now, boys. Boys, I actually forgot to... Sorry, this is going to look really weird in the final video. But there's some things I forgot to add. So, say... You wanted to add another button to this, so you go to frame, and you add another text button, right? Got this here. Let's make the background color green. And let's just, you know, make this look at least somewhat nice. If you want to add this, and you'll say, oh, I don't have the, the GUI to Lua. What you can do is you can click on just this text button. Only this text button, that's quite important. Or technically, you could just do this all over again. You could do the screen GUI, but then you have to rewrite all of that. So what you can do is you can do this, and you can do the GUI to Lua on just this text button. And then you can copy this over. And you can paste this down here. And then you can take this and put it up here by the instances. Now... Uh, some people would think that I didn't really have to say that, but uh, I kind of do because some people like I don't really blame you, but some people are new to this. But overall, um, before we get into this next Roblox part, um, if you guys have any questions about this, because the next part's just going to be me showing you that it works and all that, uh, be sure to ask questions in the comments, and I'll say it towards the end. But uh, if you want more more videos like this, let me know. But here, I'll get, I'll get back to the actual video. Alright. So what I did is I joined a game. Just random game. And what I did is I made a new tab, a new script. And I pasted all of the code from our Roblox Studio work into here. And when I attach, as you normally would for any script, click Execute. You get what we made. And when you click the button, it changes the color. Pretty simple stuff. If you guys want more elaborate executing such as something like this thing that I was just showing you guys to where it's it injects a lot of scripts depending on what you click and it can minimize stuff like that a little bit more advanced let me know in the comments and if you guys um, like the video please like and subscribe always appreciate it and I think that's really it I got that's all I got for you guys today so uh, peace out